पेपर बाय श्री भार्गव राघव द टॉपिक इज श्री भार्गव राघवीयम ए फिलोसॉफिकल पर्सपेक्टिव बाय प्रोफेसर बृहदा प्रसन्ना शी इज अवर लोकल होस्ट एक्चुअली शी इज द वन हु मेड ऑल अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर अस व्हेन वी आर हियर शी इज फ्रॉम द संस्कृत डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ दिस कॉलेज and uh, this uh, is a book by uh, jagadguru ramabhadra acharya uh, she is going to talk about that uh, book from a philosophical perspective namas bhaye sabhapati pyascha adya aham shri bhargava raghavie siddhanta paksham vyavasthapanam karumi vedakala aarabhya अद्य नवीन काल पर्यतम साहित्य लोके विद्यमु वेदसारा तदहम भार्गव राघवीये कि प्रकाशन कौमी प्रथम संस्कृत काव्या उत्पत्ते बीज वेदे प्राप्य संस्कृत काव्या प्रथम किरण सर्वप्रथम ऋग्वेदे दृश्य है सूक्ता अथवा मंत्र ईदृशा सी यही कवे प्रतिभाया सुंदर परचय प्रस्तूय राम से अयनम रायण अर्थात भगवत श्रीरामचंद्र से निवास स्थान चरित्रवर्णन चुविराज्य तदव रायण कथ्य मई पेपर इन इंग्लिश for the lucid understanding of uh, everybody from all parts of india i hope it would be easy so let me uh, continue with english actually my paper is just a six uh, six pages and um, i had very little time and i should first thank uh, nagraj paturi sir and shrinivasan sir for giving all of us from this college an opportunity to present a paper on behalf of everybody my colleagues um, and uh, the staff of my college especially our vp sir who is also uh, giving a special talk tomorrow uh, we thank you i mean i thank you both and the organize organizing i mean organization indica for giving us an opportunity sir and uh, i started about my paper it was just a six six pages which comprised totally about this book bhargava raghavyam but today before all of you i i feel i i feel to be like a toddler actually and i knew nothing about vaishnavism and i have just dwelt in certain questions right from the morning which all uh, i am in mean, from what all i heard you people induced me to think why philosophy is such ex- i mean uh, such extended in all parts of the uh, in uh, all parts of the world especially in india and uh, where from it sprouted i started thinking more about it and uh, why there is a need for preceptors now we have 12 uh, our matha andava ashramam has 12 preceptors and all those portraits are placed here why such preceptors and at last we have placed the photo of the vaikuntha natha and i understood after all uh, hearing your speeches that all these preceptors lead us to that almighty god and uh, as our hod dr v raman sir told to place the vaikuntha natha photo there nearer to the acharya i understood the meaning of why he told so so why the need for a preceptor is required since i have also taken about an acharya this question sprouted in my mind and above all rama my favorite deity what is the need for an incarnation and why ramayanam is there what is this uh purpose of the study ramayana was all my question right from today morning exactly after 10:30 after hearing all your papers actually one by one so with all minimum mean amount uh, mean knowledge of mine i have just made a small ppt and i wish to share this first shloka adhau ram tapovananu gamanam hatvam mrugam kanchanam वैदेही हरण जटायु मरण सुग्रीव संभाषण वाली निग्रहण समुद्र तरण लंकापुरी दहनम पश्चात रावण 
கும்பகரண மதனம் ஏதாதி ராமாயணம் இந்த சிங்கிள் ஸ்லோகா ஏக ஸ்லோகம் ஆஃப் ராமாயணா ஹோப்ஃபுல் எவ்ரிபடி ஐ மீன் இட்ஸ் நியூ டு மீ பட் யூ ஹாவ் ஆல் ரிசைட்டட் அலாங் வித் ஸோ இது திஸ் சிங்கிள் ஸ்லோகா த ஹோல் ஆஃப் ராமா இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி கிவன் டு விஸ் அண்ட் வால்மீகி ஹூ ஹேஸ் டோல்ட் யாவஸ் தாசியந்தி கிரய சரித சமஹிதலே தாவத் ராமாயண கதா லோகேஷு பிரச்சரிஷ்யதி ஹாஸ் பிகம் ட்ரூ டில் டேட் ரைட் ஃப்ரம் தேட் டே டில் டுடே வி ஆல் ஆர் ஸ்பீக்கிங் அபவுட் ராமாயண அண்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி டுடே ஆல் பர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் we would i mean diversified uh, languages in which ramayana has been made before me sir spoke from west bengal and even one more speaker i happened to speak about rama so till today it is in vogue and it is teaching us a lot ramayana especially and while in search of the sampradayas i happened to see all of us all of us are speaking about gaudi sampradaya chaitanya mahaprabhu sampradaya and etc 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 but when i went into in deep about the beginning of this sampradaya that is actually um diverse i mean divided into four traits one is brahma sampradaya next is lakshmi sampradaya then we have rudra sampradaya or shiva sampradaya and we have kumara sampradaya in beginning of the vaishnavisa sampradaya is classified into four heads like this and below this we have madhva sampradaya in brahma sampradaya for your understanding and uh, in lakshmi i mean in lakshmi sampradaya we have ramanuja sampradaya and shri sampradaya shri vaishnava shri vaishnava sampradaya one by name and we have rudra sampradaya and uh, vishnu swami sampradaya vallabha sampradaya in the third category and in fourth category we have nimbarkar nimbarka sampradaya nibadhya sampradaya and sankati sampradaya so this is how it is classified and under one head under one roof vaishnavism all these are actually classified and we speak about everything individually nimbarkar vallabha and uh, gaudi sampradaya etc and now i have taken uh, lakshmi sampradaya which is also known as shri sampradaya since it portrays sita to be the prominent deity and this is otherwise known as ramananda sampradaya and this is said to be the biggest sampradaya since out of 56 ramayana i mean uh, 56 uh, classifications of vaishnava sampradaya or that gates vaishnava gates 30 sorry 52 vaishnava gates are there in total and 36 are been uh, i mean it has been supported by ramananda sampradaya which is popular in northern region of bharatavarsha in india so it got its name ramananda sampradaya because the jagat guru ramananda who who was in the tradition of uh, lakshmi that is uh, making uh, sita bhagavati sita to be the prominent uh, person or that who is the who i mean the first preceptor of this um, uh, sampradaya is said to be bhagavati sita and uh, Ramananda Acharya came in that tradition and hence this sampradaya is named to be Ramananda sampradaya and there are many uh, philosopher in this sampradaya and now there is a ever living um, philosopher a polyglot a reformer anything can be told under his name jagat guru ramabhadra acharya who is living now he is from 1950 to till date so who is he he was he was born in north india in 1950 during makara sankranti and at the age of 2 months he was diagnosed with a eye problem so till date he is a physically challenged he runs a vikalanga vishwavidyalaya which is named to be divyanga vishwavidyalaya at present he is running that and exclusively he gives education for all those people who are physically challenged and this jagat guru he has written many text nearly he has written uh, hundreds of books and uh, in that he writes in 22 languages oh, sorry speaks in 22 languages and especially he is expert in writing 14 languages how could he write actually he had his fellow followers to whom he dictates and who brings out this he he is with many honors like tulasi pitadishwara um 
actually i took a long list of his uh, sorry yes he has many traits like he is the founder and head of tulasi peet uh, lifelong chancellor of jagadguru rambhadra acharya handicapped university he is a philosopher katha artist writer social reformer and he gives he has given sanskrit commentaries on prasthana trayi and he has done his phd in apaniniya i mean uh, uh, about grammar in sanskrit he is expert in sanskrit grammar nyaya sahitya and vedanta and he has also been awarded with banabatta puraskar vani alankar alankaranam puraskar sanskrita mahamaha upadhyaya goswami tulasi dasa samarchana sammanaha shri vachaspati etc etc tulasi puraskar ha deva bhumi puraskar ha and all these been with us without um thinking of his ailment he has taken all such awards and he is he is expert in vedas vedangas itihasas puranas grammar and everything and to mention here in the uh, on the go he is one of the reason for the favor of judgment to india in rama janma bhumi ayodhya case which we happened a couple of years before he was one of the uh, i mean uh, witness i could say witness but since he is physically challenged i don't know whether to use the term witness but having heard his statement the case came to an end he is the person whom i was speaking about and that is the book which i have uh, taken for my study and this book is been published by atal bihari watch by the then prime minister of india in 2002 and this book has uh, won the sahitya academy award in the year 2005 and till date probably a couple of years before till it has received a cash prize of 27 lakhs it has i mean merely the prize cash amount was 27 lakhs apart from the sahitya academy award <coughs> so what is specific about this book Bhar shri bhargava ragaviyam the first and foremost thing which i i would like to mention is the dual avatara one is parashurama avatara bhargava and rama who is uh, the ragava so taking the clan bhargava from brugu jamadagni son fourth son of jamadagni and ragava dasharatha ragus uh, descendant so this author jagadguru ramabhadra acharya has mingled both the avataras into one and for our better stand better understanding and uh, where the to help me out i mean which helped me to fix this topic philosophical perspective the atma i mean the atma and paramatma concept has been i mean as up to my understanding i have taken it from the book here parashurama is instructed to surrender to lord rama who is going to be born so wherein in many of the places i noticed that parashurama is to be the atma a person like us since he is a uh, avesha avatara he becomes avatara only when he is um, becoming furious but rama is a complete purna avatara he is not so so we people we are tend to all dharma artha kama moksha we will have all krodha like that parashurama is depicted here who is undergoing the um, fate of anger and for that he kills the kshatriya vamsa and he goes for all the teertha yatras and all that and at last he is surrendering himself to the lord rama so that is what is mentioned here in this book in 21 cantos depicting depicting the first book of 21st century the author has written 101 shlokas in each chapter and totaling to 21 21 verses in total all the 21 cantos he has summed it to that um, thing and the in spite of this he also gives the samskaras which we should follow in our day to day life which is relating to the um uh, human life actually and as i told earlier bhagavati sita the lord bhagavati sita she is the preceptor of sri sampradaya and that is also been dictated by the author in one of his chapter in chapter then he he dictates that imam suta lalaya labda labaha sanchivinim vaishnava pungavanam it is told that she is the uh, 
defender of the Vaishnavites. These are the words authored by Jagadguru Rambhadracharya as dictated by Parashurama to Janaka. Obviously, we need something for a better understanding and hence Jagadguru Rambhadracharya, I hope, has written this uh, uh, ocean of uh, values into a Mahakavyam so that we will be easily understanding. So, he has presented in that way and also he has added Acharya Varyam Prathamam Anindyam Swam Brahma Vidyamiva Sarva Shaktim. He says, the beauty of the first preceptor of Sri Sampradaya, Bhagavati Sita, is the defender of Vaishnavites. She is blemishless, she is pioneer of austerity and she is the form of power. So, this is all being mentioned along in the Mahakavya for the easy understanding. And uh, in the concept of this paper, I have understood all the Navavida Bhaktis which is portrayed in Bhagavad Puranam to be included in this Bhargava Raghavyam paper. So, as we all know, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam, Cha. All these are said to be the Navavida Bhakti. So, here in each and every instance, I could feel or uh, the or any reader, they could feel um, all the Navavida Bhaktis portrayed by the author, depicted by the characters, etc. Sorry. So, first beginning with Shavanam, since the author is physically challenged, he is making everyone, his fellow followers to hear what he sings. So, there the Shravanam part get fructified. And <clears throat> next is Kirtanam. Exclusively there are two chapters, two chapters, one singing the praise of Rama in 101 shlokas and one chapter singing in praise of Sita for 101 shlokas. Apart from this, we have also in few places, in few chapters, Brahma singing the praise of uh, Lord Rama as it is and Jamadigni singing the praise of Lord Narayana wanting for a son. So, all these been has been sung by various characters throughout the Mahakavyam. Smaranam. Actually, uh, we all know that Parashurama is the fourth son of Par uh, Jamadagni. And uh, the author has uh, given a reason why fourth son. Already he has three sons. Then why he should long for a fourth son? That was the question. And for that he gives the answer that as in there are four Vedas, this uh, uh, Rishi uh, Jamadagni wishes to have the fourth son. So he he prays, he makes or he is he's in thinking of, he is into the Dhyana about Narayana for begetting Narayana as itself his son. So there we could see the Smaranam part of the Bhakti. And Pada Sevanam, Parashurama as a ardent uh, devotee and a disciple of Shiva in one full chapter, he is just do, doing all his uh, savers to the uh, Lord, Lord Shiva he is uh, doing. There we could see Pada Sevanam. And as it is, uh, the Guru is being received by Dasharatha as in Ramayana, there also we could say Pada Sevanam for Guru, who is taking us to the uh, Lord. Then Archanam. I uh, will complete in two minutes, sir. I have almost completed. Archanam also is being seen by singing the praise of Rama by Parashurama to Janaka. And Vandanam, we can see Rama and Sita from Mahindra mountain, Parashurama is singing. He is praying from there for being born in this world to bring end to the atrocity of uh, many uh, uh, for the atrocity, I mean, for bringing an end to the atrocity of Rama, uh, I mean, Ra Ravana and as well as their Kartavirya Arjuna as Parashurama and here Rama. So, Dasyam, we could see Brahma approaching Rama as a friend, asking him to come into the form of Rama itself as the son of Dasharatha in order to save the world. Sakyam, at last, we could say um, Sakyam between Rama and Parashurama, where Rama embraces Parashurama and uh, all these uh, deviations from Valmiki Ramayana could be seen there. 
last is atma sevanam where as per the words of his guru uh, parashurama surrenders himself to lord rama so ultimately this book totally as in kavya prakasha kanta samhita taya upadesha yuje has told this mahakavyam is giving various thoughts where we could see navavida bhakti and uh, philosophical views rama is described at one place as the tilaka of sita herself so there vaishnava is a sampradaya placing of the tilaka in the forehead why it is considered must is told and uh, Ra- parashurama goes to teertha yatra there in all the holy pilgrimages has been mentioned there we see uh, himalaya we see shriranga kshetra all the kshetra he covers where in we see in all the vaishnava sampradaya that going to a temple is mandatorily followed so many points i could uh, re- make it a re- relevance with the sampradaya which is injected through this mahakavyam for the readers so one who reads it clearly or understands it properly can make uh, many note of uh, the sampradaya being stated by the author which is actually the book is uh, common for all since then he has mentioned he has mildly injected all the injections of the vedas sampradaya following everything has been injected in the text so this is all about and also to add saguna nirguna upasa without which we can't speak about vaishnavism also is added and sharanagati which i told you uh, the shloka is quoted here and the god accepts one who is surrendering is also stated when rama accepts parashurama so through this all the i mean the points of vaishnavism has been uh, uh, injected to the readers thank you thank you for the opportunity